All right, welcome back to DIY. Now, if you happen to forget to get someone a holiday gift and you really needed to, nothing says I'm sorry for getting you something late like a handmade project that you poured your heart and soul into. So I'm here to provide you with some inspiration on the DIY subreddit. We'll begin with found this next to a store. We've got the, the bullhorn handlebars and the teeth that are just zip tied to the top of the fender. Not really sure what that accomplishes. Maybe it provides a little bit extra protection against mud, even though it's on the wrong side to, to do that. It's an intimidation thing, okay? They didn't want to waste any parts of the bulb. They feasted for a week for the entire village on hamburgers and steak, and they're like, how can we put the other stuff to use? So really, it's, it's a conservation effort, and it's commendable even though I really don't think that those handlebars are comfortable, also with the screw head sticking out of them. That seems hazardous. But at least you get your, you know, your different handlebar positions, whatever you want. You can do like the road bike kind of position, or you can do the casual bike kind of position while you're also scraping your finger on the top of a screw. But it's okay. It's worth it. I'm not sure what it's worth either. Kids loft bed made out of 1.5 inch PVC. Not sure what it's worth, just make a fair offer. Well, it's listed for a dollar. So are you like, hey, I'll take a dollar for it. But also if you think it's worth 72 cents instead, I guess I'll negotiate with you on that. This definitely costs more than a dollar to make though. I bet PVC pipe probably isn't super expensive. I've never bought it before. But it seems like, hey, that actually seems like kind of a fun thing to do. You could get some use out of that in some way, shape, or form for a dollar. Like, that's not too bad. Top comment says, I guess a cat could sleep on the top and a kid could have a sweet Ford. Dude, I would totally be down to have a Ford under that. Drape some blankets over the side. You'd be in your own little world. Be in outer space or something like that. Playing your Game Boy. It's not a Game Boy anymore. Playing your Nintendo Switch, whatever the kids play these days. Switches, I've played the Switch. It's fun. I played Super Smash and gotten destroyed. I don't have a title for this. Uh what are they what are they making? Is it just seems incredibly uncomfortable. Yeah, you know all those chefs out there that are professionals that own restaurants and they toss things in a pan manually with their hand. They're all amateurs, okay? Their food doesn't turn out as good as it could be if only they attach their pan to an electric sander, okay? That can toss whatever's in your pan faster than you could ever believe. And also probably get you really close to just sawing right through your hand if you lose grip on that towel. That seems really dangerous. Nothing about this seems safe at all. And whoever made the video probably knows that, but they did it for dramatic effect. For the views. This is for the views. But hey, if someone's been having trouble in the kitchen, get them an electric sander, and they can thank you later. Why? Useful cement hacks for everyday situations. You pour cement over your boot, and then you turn it into a flower pot. Why did we need the cement in the first place? I guess that seals it. It doesn't seem completely sealed. We've still got the gap where the tongue is and and the laces and the... <laughs> yeah. All right. I might take a pass on that, but hey, you might have a friend who's a big flower aficionado, or in this case, leaf aficionado, and maybe they'll really appreciate a good DIY boot. If you want to go upmarket, you could go and buy yourself like a Gucci shoe, and you can pour cement all over it. <laughs> And then you can turn it into a, an upmarket flower pot where you can't even see the branding on it, so it defeats the purpose. Why would you do this? Um, I disagree. This is actually kind of fantastic. <laughs> it could be someone who's used to being bothered often on on the train, and this is perhaps a way to discourage that. But I think it actually had the opposite effect. I think more people would come up and be like, "That's." A pretty cool little sleepy face mask right there. I don't even know if it's a sleepy face mask. It has eye holes. Also, there's a part of it that just looks like it's a it's a skull mask with really large buck teeth. Is anybody else getting that? Like these are it it kind of looks like this is teeth right here. Good thing ratchets aren't a thing. Is it okay? 
diamonds. What? Did you just grind down a a gear so it's just a circular bearing and then you put a grind down a nut and put the nut inside it weld the nut to the inside of the bearing and you so far it just seems like this kind of thing already exists probably right oh that's why the title says good thing ratchets aren't the thing oh because you're literally you're making something that already exists yeah no that's kind of what the heck? I don't know, this is actually kind of fascinating that I... How did... How does that work? How did... Wait, does the bearing only spin... Oh, wait, is that... So that thing right there, that's already... That is a ratchet. Okay. It already has the mechanism built in. I'm like, where in this did they actually build in the ratcheting mechanism so it allows free movement in one direction and locking movement in the other? I'm like, nothing seems to have done that. I was gonna, th it would have been pretty cool if they actually built in the ratcheting movement, but otherwise, this seems like a lot of effort for something that you could buy for an amount that's less than the amount of effort that you've put in. Okay, I don't post to Reddit and all that, but I found this monstrosity and felt it fit here. Okay, so you take some pennies and you glue them all together. It's gonna be a coaster, right? That's the only thing I can think of. And then you put it on top of something, and that's a coaster. I also like to um, wipe my nose with with bills, you know, or use them as napkins, because it's really sanitary to, to do that. <laughs> And this probably got like 50 bajillion views though, knowing how Instagram things were. Yeah, it has 78.7 thousand likes on it. A lot of people watch this. A lot more than watch my stuff. So maybe I should do it. I should find a way to make something out of paper money. But that's probably, no, pennies are cheap. So I don't understand. This is such a waste of time. You're gonna saw the phone in half? I'm like waiting for someone to do that. Oh, is it gonna be a phone case? It's gonna be a phone case, right? <laughs> that was, <a laughs> that was like in the cartoons when someone cuts the slice of cake or pie out and then they lift the bigger portion and leave that slice. It's like they cut out the piece of cardboard that I thought was gonna go to making a a cardboard phone case, which that was, that's fine. I've made fart, cart, fartboard, made cardboard phone cases before. Then they took that away and it was like, no, you're using the box. Uh, I mean, maybe if I were five, I'd find this cool for a couple minutes, but I don't know. I don't really feel like just laying my head on the cold, hard floor to watch my phone. I have more comfortable ways of accomplishing watching things. Five gems. Okay, so you are you using a glue cutter. <laughs> you were using a oh ew what oh it's more than oh it's just a whole compilation of things. So you took the okay oh my god this is overwhelming one at a time would have been it. I see. So you're just turning a bunch of things that don't seem like they should be edible into being edible as like a, you know, it's not a bad like little April Fool's joke. Do all of these, bring it to school. Oh God. I was thinking that could have been better if you just like put the glue out on the table at school and someone uses it and they just spray mayonnaise all over their paper. Why does it smell weird? This doesn't smell like glue. I really know that. I've, I've huffed a lot of glue. This is, oh, it's man, what the hell? Who did this? <laughs> this is better for prank ideas than DIY. So kind of great, actually. Is it that difficult to buy a bag? Okay, so we've got an umbrella here. We're gonna take off the functional part of the umbrella and then what are we gonna what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna hammer some rivets into the edges and then Okay, weave it all together. What are we making here? Oh. You just took a perfectly good umbrella and destroyed it. 
and turn it into something that the grocery store gives you for free. Well, actually for 10 cents, I should say. Uh, not free in California or LA. Is it a California-wide thing? Anyway, you can get a bag for pretty cheaply at the grocery store. Um, you don't have to destroy an umbrella to do it. But I don't know, maybe someone you know, um, for their late holiday gift, they really have a thing against umbrellas. And anything that can be made with the former shell of an umbrella, they really, they appreciate that. They've got a phobia of them, and, and all umbrellas must die. Someone ought to tell them about socks. Okay. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take a shirt, a perfectly good shirt, and destroy it in order to make something that you probably could have gotten in like, I don't know, a pack of 20 for the same price as the shirt. I'm... Uh... Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. It's on TikTok though, and it probably gets billions of views. And um, it's what am I doing with my life? Maybe I need to be making my entire sock wardrobe out of these. I've heard of people who wear a new pair of socks every single day, always new, always fresh, and then out they go afterwards. Maybe they should start making those socks themselves with shirts so they can up the cost even more. It's not me, I don't do that. I don't, I, I've, I've used my socks plenty of times, don't you worry. It's just a prank, bro. Oh, it's like, oh God. Oh, it's a, like a lip balm container, I see. It took me a moment, because I've never had lip balm like that. Oh, that would be so mean. Yeah, this is obviously a joke, but oh God, that's, don't do that to anyone, please don't. That's, oh, if they don't notice, whoo, oh. Don't do that as your holiday gift idea or a prank. Pranks are not supposed to result in people experiencing mortal injury, which cactus on your lip probably would be. Oh, no. What purpose does this serve? It's always good when it starts with Vaseline. And cement. Okay. And, and then you put your, your cup in the... In the, in the, okay, and then it just comes, and then you. What you've done is you've taken a cup, and it's still a cup, but it's just heavier. I like to get a workout every time that I lift my drink up to my face, so this really accomplishes that. Um, I had thought of so many ways to try to do this before. I don't know, chain a dumbbell to the handle of the cup, but then the handle kept breaking off of the cup. This is genius though, I'm gonna have to do it. I bet that I can add like 10 pounds if I just use a big enough chunk of concrete. It's just a bodybuilder's dream. Not that I'm a bodybuilder, but it is a dream of bodybuilders. It doesn't even fall from it. Okay, so you're, you're cheating. You're taking what's supposed to be a surprise egg and it's not gonna be a surprise anymore which is cheating. You poke a bunch of holes in the thing, and then you, I don't actually know what that is. Is that like salt? Oh, you're making a, you're making a salt and pepper shaker out of disposable plastic. Okay. I mean, it's classy. There's no doubt about it. I like to reuse the eggs from candy things that I get, the, the shells from candies in order to Put them on my table as condiments. So that everyone will be like, ah, oh, that's fancy of you to do. <laughs> DI, what the fork? Uh, yes, I, I hate it when, oh. That, huh. I suppose the only, the only downside is if you do this wrong, you suffocate. But other than that, what could go wrong? It's definitely good because if you're driving and you want to eat sunflower seeds and not get them all over the place or have to take your eyes off the road to spit it into something, just definitely tape a bag to your face. Good lord. Ah, uh, hmm. Part of me thinks I've seen this before. Uh, the other part thinks maybe it wasn't on DIY or wasn't in a Reddit video. Maybe I just saw it naturally on Reddit in my own spare time. But it just looks like trophies from a serial demonetizer. Every time that they demonetize, 
they take the jeans and they add it to their staircase. And I don't think that's nice at all. They don't even bother to wash them. Why not just put them in a bowl or something? Okay, well, this is the, um, this is the top post, and it's also a three minute plus long video. So are you gonna, you're gonna repurpose parts of a vehicle. Let's just see where we're ending up. You have the seat belt. Oh. Um, there's part of me that as a car enthusiast sees this gimmick and I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's kind of interesting. I don't know why you're leaving your keys outside. That's an interesting approach. Hey, come here, here are the keys. Just disconnect them and you can use them on the door to just come on in. Kind stranger, house is open to all. But otherwise, it's not bad. It's a lot of effort. You have to find kind of a junk car to do it, but maybe it's cool. Maybe it's, I, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Someone gave this to me as a little gift for Christmas. So I'd be like, huh, probably not gonna use it. But whatever, it's not bad. Okay, well anyway, that's uh, that's where we end DIY for the week. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like, check out the playlist in the description. If you want to catch more DIY videos, subscribe if you're not already. And, uh, or you can just watch other videos on the channel. And that's it. I'll see you next time.